At 11 years old, you just want to be a kid. But Paige Armstrong wanted something different. She just wanted a life outside the hospital. At 10 years old, I was just excited with life. And um, I did a lot of singing and acting and dancing. Um, I was just very happy and full of life. Just before my 11th birthday, my leg started hurting. The doctors thought it was growing pains, and then it was realized that, sure enough, it was something called Ewing sarcoma, which um, was a tumor on my right leg, and it was cancerous. I didn't understand at all. Um, my family was crying, my friends were crying, but I didn't seem to understand what was going on. I was thrown into chemotherapy, um, the life in the hospital. Um, my world was just completely taken out from underneath me and turned upside down. And day by day, it was just, how can I get through the day? I lost my hair. I was on crutches, and my identity was completely different. I had to have what they call a permanent IV, and it gave me really bad acid reflux. I couldn't barely eat anything because it all just was burning so much. It made me so sick. I'd be in the hospital room and I'd just get inspired for writing lyrics to a song and I loved that because I could just totally get my feelings out on paper. I figured that if I really showed how I truly felt then I would just be crying and crying and crying and then I'd never stop. They say that the most healing thing is laughter and that's true. If you're just depressed, then you're never going to get through it. Well, isn't that a way to live? Paige's spirit got the attention of the Make-A-Wish Foundation who granted Paige's wish to record a CD in Nashville. Now she's featured on a Bath & Body Works holiday CD and she's rubbing elbows with stars like Martina McBride and Stevie Wonder, just to name a few. And at 15 years old, I am happy to say that Paige is in remission and her parents are here, Donna and Gary Armstrong. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. Well, what a tremendous story. I could see in your eyes, Donna, as you were watching that. It must bring back a lot of very, very difficult memories. What is it like seeing that? Well, um, it is difficult to see that. Um, it does take you right back there, um, seeing her without hair and, you know, all that and being in the hospital. But um, naturally and fortunately, we're in a much different place now. Thank heavens, right? So, Paige, let's talk about this for a minute because you learned, you know, one of the things you said is you learned through your cancer how to survive and dream big. And what has that experience taught you? Because look at what you have accomplished. Well, I've always believed that even though a terrible circumstance can come into your life, um, if you just trust in God, He will bring in so many blessings. Um, that far outweigh any pain that you've been through. And that's just what I'm experiencing now. It's just incredible. You know, Gary, you have one incredibly brilliant daughter right here. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm proud of her. You know, it, you must feel really good that a portion of these proceeds go to Make-A-Wish Foundation. And, and they've really, in part, changed your life, haven't they? Well, they have. They give whole families a chance to escape uh, the hospital, and to uh, just get some kind of renewal. And in Paige's case, uh, it gave her back a gift that God had given her and she had forgotten about, the gift of song and many other opportunities have come from that. So we're, we're delighted that uh, Bath & Body Works is making this contribution and we really want to support them. And seeing her have dinner with the CEO of Bath & Body Works the other night and we were at the other end of the table like we weren't there was just, uh, <laughs> that was amazing. That was pretty impressive. Yes. Well, I am so thrilled that you are going to perform for us right after this next commercial so stick around and everybody you're going to get to see a new star a star <laughs> is born but first this is today on NBC